Captain Rum Expert Ian Burrell. Ian, and welcome. And of course, Katie is still in. with us here. Because it's alcohol. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Ian, um, what is your job? Um, I'm officially the global rum ambassador, so it means I travel around the world teaching people about rums, uh, rum cocktails, how to sample, how to taste them, and get paid for doing it. What a job, eh? That's <laughs> a great what job. job. What, yeah. a job. Um, what, is, uh, what is rum made of? Uh, rum, that, well, rum has to be made from a byproduct of sugar, uh, of sugar cane. So uh, it's been made from fresh sugar cane juice, from syrup or molasses, just a byproduct of maple sugar. Because Simon and me did on a TV show once make yeah. sugar, didn't we? Yeah, you, made, right, it, okay. you yeah. made it out of sugar cane, and yeah. I made it out of sugar beet. Be yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you made rum out of sugar beet? No, it won't be officially called uh, rum. There are some countries that make what they call rum from sugar beet, but it's not technically rum. Okay, so tell us what we're going to taste first of all here. Well, what we've done, because most, most people assume that rums are from the Excuse Caribbean. Me. It's starting already. Yeah. <laughs> most people assume that rums are from the Caribbean or the Caribbean islands, so I thought I'd get a selection of rums from Central America and South oh, America. Oh, oh nice. so good. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. That is so <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, so I want to be sitting <laughs> in a leather Chesterfield sofa. Exactly, yeah. exactly. In a dark wood panelled room. See, that's the description of rum. See, the first one we have, the, the one you have, is from Guyana. It's an El Dorado 12-year-old. So the youngest rum in that blend is 12 years old. And the significant thing about this particular product, the stills, which is what they use to make the alcohol, is, is a wooden. It's a wooden right. pot still and a wooden continuous column still. So it creates a really unique flavor. Um, Do you like that? Oh, it's quite hot. Sip and it's sip like and central sip. heating in your stomach. Yeah. There you go, liquid yeah. central heating. Yeah. How much is this? This one will be about 34 pounds. I think that is fantastic. Why is it called rum? It's called rum because uh, rum was an old Cornish word. Uh, well, rum came about an old Cornish word called rum bullion which was what happened, well, rum bullion is a term or an uproar, lots of noise, being boisterous, and that's what happened when you drank a lot of rum. Rum bullion is too long of a word to use in the Caribbean, so they shortened it down to rum. Right, okay. I thought it was only made yeah. in the Caribbean, I didn't realise no, it. No, all over the world, all over the world. Right. Should we get, should we get that, that into that the next one? That was delicious. Excellent, put excellent. That one down and we'll Please go over the second one. <laughs> What's the second one in? So the second one, we're still in South America now, yes. and we've gone over to the, uh, the country of <laughs> Venezuela. <laughs> Now have a nose. Have a, yeah, you said you teach people how to taste it. How do we taste it? Well, first of all, you want to take a, a nose because eighty percent of our taste comes from our sense of smell. So have a little, little nose and taking some of that aroma. First taste is with our sight, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> or even better, yeah. First, like, have a look at it. Yeah, look at it. Look, look at a little green dew on good. the glass. Yeah, um, so then, yeah, look at the legs and then have a little, a little looking aroma. At the legs. I'm looking mm. at the legs. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you're going to pick up some things like a uh, banana, some toffee, more like banoffee pie as well. Um, some caramel, some brown sugar. Uh, a little bit of cacao. As you sip it, it should be nice and smooth as it goes down. Liquid, yes, it, liquid rum again. I was just it's blowing my head off. <laughs> 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 it's it's sip. <laughs> sip and savour, sip and savour. Ian, am I right in saying it's sweeter, this one? Yes, this one's a little tiny bit sweeter. Um, it's mm. aged in Venezuela, and the age in there is rapid compared to, say, like a, a whiskey or a, a cognac in France. They'll lose like two how or three percent. This, one? this one's about thirty-eight pounds. So it's yeah. a thirty percent so premium. So the difference between dark rum and, and white rum. White rums are normally unaged, or if they are aged, they've been filtered through charcoal to take the colour out. Because the aging process is when they're in a barrel. That gives it a little bit of colour. So you take that out by running it through charcoal, so and it brings it down to white. You'd never mix one of these, would you? I would personally say yes. <laughs> Well, in a premium cocktail, uh, you'd have it, you'd oh sip right, it. Yeah, yeah, but no, in a, in a premium like cocktail. No, not with a. Uh, not with lemonade. <laughs> not with lemonade. <laughs> not with tonic water. Pineapple <laughs> juice. A bit of pineapple juice. Uh, okay. And, this is and the last one, the last one is actually made in Guatemala. Um, the Central American country, Guatemala. And again, most people wouldn't assume rum is from Guatemala. Um, the great thing about this particular rum is actually aged up in the clouds. Uh, tw <laughs> 2,300 meters up in the mountains, so it's slow age as opposed to rapid age is what will happen in what, South, South America. For. Well, the chocolate is because one of the ways to actually sip and save a rum is to actually pair it with chocolate. So have a little tiny bite of the chocolate. Do you like, cho do you like dark chocolate? I do, but normally with rum I'd have a kebab or something. <laughs> 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 I found an awful lot about you today. Classy, I know, I know Katie, makes classy. Some, I know somebody who makes some flour kebabs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, and with so dark chocolate, yeah. And with dark which chocolate, is, yeah. As, reg yeah, as regular uh, viewers know, this is the stuff you want to buy because yeah. your kids don't eat it. Yeah. Exactly. About 70% <laughs> percent, percent percent what's all cocoa bean inside there. What about um, the myth this one's that it's a certain amount of alcohol a day is, is good for you? Is, it, is that true, do you think? Well, in the Caribbean, we drink alcohol every day, so um, <laughs> <laughs> we're quite healthy, the fastest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what, he's fueled on rum? Is that what you're telling us? <laughs>
You're not lying now, Allegedly, are you? allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. This allegedly. one's more cognac -y feeling. This one's more cognac -ier. And the great thing about this rum, again, they age it in four different styles of barrels. So two whiskey barrels and two sherry barrels. One sherry and one Pedro Jimenez. Give us the price of this one. This one's about 50 pounds. So it's, it's all about... My, it's my favourite. You bring this out. <laughs> <laughs> bring this out. Bring this out for the, for the good friends. But it's, it's just so beautiful. The first one for me is my favourite. What's yours, Kate? I think the last one's my favourite, but that's because I'm now a little bit tipsy and it's <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, the first one's my favourite as Excellent. well. Wow. Thanks, Ian. Top man.